So here's the LG phone. One of the things I really like about what they've done is they have this really neat weather app. They've just done a really beautiful job in terms of the weather app and the, and the widget. Uh, what I really like about Android as well is this idea of widgets, right? I mean, if you look at some of the other phones, like Apple, you know, iPhone is a, is a great phone, but you don't have this idea of widgets. So whenever you want to interact with an application, you have to actually go in and launch it. Whereas this is really neat. You can have all these little widgets that you can quickly access and look at. Uh, the other thing we focused on was really fast interactivity. If you can look at, you know, how quick we can interact and, and move with these things, it's it's pretty good. Uh, obviously, gaming was something we focused on. You know, so Dungeon Defender was a game that we worked on. Now, the difference between Dungeon Defender that you see here on Tegra is that this is the full game. This is not a dumbed-down version of the game. It's the exact same game that they ship on the PC and the PS3 is what you see on the Tegra phone. In fact, because it's the exact same game, we showed a demo at our press conference whereby people could play across a PC, a phone, and a PS3. And they're all playing multiplayer games together at the same time. Uh, so that was one of the cool real features that you have here. So we can actually go through skip the videos, we can skip some of the opening videos, and we can get into the gameplay, but it's a really cool 3D game, it's a role-playing game, you can pick whatever character you want, you can go in, interact with the game, you can play locally, as I mentioned, play online, so if you play online, you can play phone to phone, tablet to phone, phone to tablet, to PS3, to PC, I mean, just fully interactive and do whatever you want. The graphics are great. Uh, I don't need to see the tutorial. Would you like to view the tutorial? No, let's just go. Okay, so take a two chips that down with that because... This is a Tegra 2 in here. This is uh, 1 gigahertz or...? This is the dual core 1 gigahertz. So you can see here, I can totally move through, and you can see my character. It's pretty good in terms of the interactivity. You can, you can fire, you can jump. 3D graphics are very smooth, and as I said, it's the exact same art assets in the game that they use for the PC and the PS3 version. So we can connect online and play with someone on a PC or a PS3, which is, I think, really changes mobile gaming. It's, it makes it a lot fun. One of the other cool features is the camera. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. Go into the camera mode. Uh, they have this feature that they've put in here called shot mode and in shot mode you can go to continu continuous shot and uh, let's see if you can pick up the sound here but if I click very fast almost like a digital SLR and you can see it takes six two megapixel images all at once now obviously I'm taking a picture of my thumb <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have moved that out of the way, but you can see how fast yeah. the shutter speed is. Yeah. So, and this is a phone, right? Yeah. It's almost like having a digital SLR in your pocket integrated okay. into your phone. So even the camera they've done on here, it takes advantage of the ISP that we've put in Tegra, which is a really fast image uh, processor that we put in there. So, so that's the, the LG Optimus 2X, the, the world's first Tegra Superphone.